Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one who saves his own people. That tells us Jesus is 100% God, also 100% human. You know, uh, in the Bible, in the Bible, we call Jesus, we call Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see, each word here, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that, that implies this. Jesus means what? Jesus means in Matthew 121 the one who saves his own people his own people his own people that's a Jesus he saves his own people. And Christ. There's a capital letter C, capital letter J. Jesus. Jesus. This is a Christus. Christus means the one who, are, who is anointed. It's combined together. Who is anointed as the savior of his own people. Okay. Jesus is the anointed one who is the savior of his own people. Okay, that means that Jesus is anointed, anointed one who saves his own people. So this one indicates his deity, 100% God. That's the indication of that, Jesus Christ. Now here, Nazareth is Nazareth. Nazareth means his 100% humanity. Because he's from Nazareth. He was 100% human. So Jesus Christ of Nazareth has a, in its entire meaning, which is Jesus Christ is 100% God and 100% human. His humanity and his deity expressed here in his name. Now, with regard to issue of antichrist antichrist the name jesus christ of nazareth is very significant in terms of uh, comparing in terms of comparing antichrist and true christ which i'm going to explain to you now you know 
in his uh, Jesus, in his preaching in Olivet, the Olivet Discourse, in AD 30, he prophesied Who prophesied during the church period, first coming and second coming, this church period, there will be many antichrist, I told you before, antichrist will appear. Here, Today, this prophecy was fulfilled. Today is fulfilled. Today it's fulfilled. Okay, especially in Vatican II. That is 1962 to 65. From from that moment, all Christians, it, it WCC members, they all now acknowledge Jesus Christ is not the only Christ. They said. All religions have their own Christ. Small letter. It's a small letter, Christ. All religions have their own Christ. So put down S. Now you see in Buddhism, in Buddhism, Buddha is Christ. It's a small letter. Christ means anointed savior. Okay? In Buddhism, Buddha is Christ. Where he from? Christ of Nepal. Okay, so now here, Buddha is Christ. He's a savior. He's from Nepal. Okay, Jesus is Christ of Nazareth. Now, also, also, Muhammad is savior, Christ of Mecca. Muhammad is a Christ of, Christ means what? Savior. Okay, anointed Savior. Now, in Hinduism, say, there are many Hindu gods, Pishuna, for instance, Pishuna is Christ of India. And so on. Then these Christians, okay, WCC Christians, they believe Jesus, Jesus is also Christ of Nazareth. Okay, that is their belief. So they they consider their belief system is this: Jesus is one of the Christ. So the many Christ is a many Christ. You see, Christian Jesus is one of the Christ. 
See, Christian Jesus is one of one of the many Christ. That is their belief. That's a Christ, Christian's belief. See, I would say this is a WCC and Roman Catholics, even Orthodox churches believe. I would say around 70% of today's Christians believing this, that our Jesus is Christ of Nazareth. When, when we say that, then all Christians will say, Amen, yes, we believe he is the Christ of Nazareth. But behind that, okay, they believe all other religion founders are also Christ of their own religion. Today we are living in this era. This is what we call religious pluralism. Pluralism. We all understand that. Therefore, all these Christ here, this Christ, what Christ? They are anti Christ. They are anti Christ. This Christ is only true and capital C Christ. So now this religious pluralism teaches here they imitate our true Christ just like Jesus is the Christ of Nazareth also they imitate Buddha is Christ of Nepal and in the Buddhism religion so whoever Whoever believes in Buddha as their Christ, their Savior, they are children of God, which they believe. They are saved. After their death, they will enter the paradise, just like Christians. That is their belief. And also, Islam and Hindu, Hinduism. This is what Christians believe. This is today's majority Christians believe that. Therefore, 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 they are against They are against conversion to Christianity. In other words, that we Christians, we pastors, we missionaries do not try to convert their religion to Christianity. Would you write that down? Do not try to convert their religion to Christianity. In other words, you as a pastor, you as a missionary, don't try to make Buddhist people to 
convert to Christianity. Let them stay as they are because they have their own Christ, which is anti-Christ. But they believe, these religious pluralistic Christians believe that. They don't believe Buddha Christ is anti-Christ. They believe that is a true Christ. So as in Islam and other religions, therefore, that is anti-convertism. Anti-convertism. Do not, do not convert them to Christianity. Let them stay as they are. There are many pastors and Christians, even missionaries now, working in the, this Hindu countries and in Buddha countries and Islam countries believing this. Then why do they call missionary then? They believe their job, missionary job, missionary job lies in not, not to convert, not to convert, but to love them. and serve them as our brothers. Love them and serve them as our brothers. Okay? In, in ways of orphanage, and hospital and school and social welfare and so on. Helping the poor. That this is what we call social social gospel. Social gospel, not to try to convert people because they are all children of God. This was prophesied by Jesus in his Olivet Discourse during the time of church period. Many so-called anti-Christ will appear. And many Christians will fall into that temptation. Many Christians will fall into that temptation if we are not well trained the Christology and doctrine of Trinity. If you are not well trained the Christology and the doctrine of Trinity, sooner or later you will be ended up with practicing and serving religious pluralism, acknowledging all religions are the same, and every religion has their own savior, what we call Christus, Christ. Every religion will have their own Christus, Christ. And Christian Christus is one of the Christ who 
belong to Christianity. So we Christians, our Lord Jesus is only Christ for those Christians in church. So Christian Savior, Christ Jesus, is only applicable to Christians. And other religions have their own Christus, Savior, within themselves. So don't bother them. Don't try to change their religion to Christianity. Not necessary, because they are all children of God. That is today's Roman Catholics' belief and Orthodox churches' beliefs, even Anglicans' beliefs, even majority Methodist beliefs, Methodist, and majority Baptist beliefs, half of them, and majority Presbyterians' beliefs around the world. Korean Presbyterians are half and half, but other parts of the world, majority Presbyterians, including USA, believe this. Half Baptist and even, say, even Salvation Army today believes. Even half of the so-called charismatic people and Pentecostal people, half of them believe this. Because they, half of the Pentecostals and charismatic denominations belong to WCC. So hardly we can find solid so-called evangelical people around in this era, which is the, clearly the sign of end time. Okay, so those who believe in anti-Christ are more than true Christians. We are living in this strategically very significant era. So it is biblically prophesied. Therefore, it's not just happened by chance. It is well designed. Therefore, we Christians, end time Christians, evangelical Christians, we have to teach our people what Jesus prophesied on Antichrist and teach them to keep yourself, keep yourself, keep Keep your faith straight. According to the Bible teachings, and prepare yourself. You teach them. Prepare themselves to stand firm with the solid gospel. For that reason, Bible already has told us that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you see, Jesus Christ of Nazareth means Jesus Christ denotes 100% deity. Jesus is 100% deity. Nazareth denotes 100% humanity. And also, our Jesus is only Jesus who is Christ. Okay? who became a 100% human, lived in Nazareth. In comparison with religious pluralistic Christ, Buddha Christ in Nepal, Muhammad Christ of Mecca, Vishnu Christ of India. Okay? So all these religious, all religions, Christs are anti Christ. So when we when we meet these anti-Christ, then 
Many Christians got challenged by this and tempted by this, persuaded by this Antichrist. Therefore, it is our job to teach our people who true Christ is. Then why these Antichrist happening all around the world today? You have to teach them. That is God's design. Therefore, let them wake up. That is our job to make them wake up. So when we see all these Antichrist around, then, oh, this is a clear message to us that we have to teach our people with the true Christ. Okay? Along with all the pre planned stories of Antichrist. So we teach them true Christ with those Antichrist together. How we relate them. How we interpret those antichrists, that why God allow those antichrists available in the church period, all these things, that is your job and my job. Amen? So don't forget that. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That tells us Jesus is 100% God and also 100% human. Okay? Those uh, anti-Christ people following the same pattern, he said, Muhammad is a Christ of Mecca. Okay? We Christians call Jesus, but they say Muhammad. Okay? We call Jesus, but they call Buddha. And so on. Are you with me? May God bless you. May God, the Holy Spirit, enlightening you to his glory, for his glory. Amen. Amen. Amen.